do 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 do. Robin Sunshine, do 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 do. Woo! I'm Robin Sunshine, bringing you a little sunshine to your day. Welcome to Testimony Spotlight. Today, I met U.S. Army Ranger Major Jeff Strucker, a veteran of 23 years of battle experience, including Operation Desert Storm, Black Hawk Down, Mogadishu, and the invasion of Panama. In 2017, Jeff was entered into the Ranger Hall of Fame. At age 18, Major Strucker went into the Army and served most of his career in the 75th Ranger Regiment, retiring with many medals like the Silver Star. Today, Major Strucker lives his faith and is on fire for the Lord. I just thought I was going to be a Ranger for the rest of my life. If you were to tell me as a young Ranger that I would end up as a chaplain in the military, I would have laughed in your face. Not only was Ranger Strucker under fire in combat, but also he continues to live his life on fire for the Lord. Today he shares his experience of years in combat, inspiring others and God's love, preparing people for eternity. And let me tell you the difference that Jesus Christ makes. Let me tell you the difference going to war makes when you have Christ as the center of your life. What was it like being a Ranger in the U.S. Army? I love to be an Army Ranger. It's hard, it's dangerous, but some of the people that I got a chance to work with were absolutely amazing. Um, I did get a chance to travel the world a little bit, but I tell people I went to the worst places on earth, the jungles and the deserts, and you know, spent my time around bad guys, but I absolutely loved the people that I was with as an Army Ranger. How did you come to accept Jesus into your life? My neighbors came to talk to me when I was 13 years old and they explained the gospel to me and told me who Jesus was for the first time in my life. And it was so powerful, it was so real that in that one night, I knelt by my bed and asked Jesus to save me and he radically changed me. Um, and I'm a new man today and I've never forgot what happened when I was 13 years old. How did your faith impact you in combat? Just about everything about me is defined by my faith. So when I was training in the army, my faith impacted the way that I trained, how hard that I trained, and of course, my faith impacted the way that I conducted myself in combat. I always tried to do what was right by my buddies to the left and to the right, but at, at the same time, I also remembered that I serve a God in heaven who will hold me accountable and so there were things on the battlefield that I didn't do that other guys around me were doing because I knew I would have to answer to God one day. And there's really no way to separate me from my faith or the way that I handle myself in war from my faith. Tell us a time in your life when, you, when your faith required you to be persistent and patient. Just about in my entire career in the U.S. Army was spent with the Army Rangers or paratroopers. That's very hard work, very dangerous work. And I went to war a lot during my career as an Army Ranger. And all of those times, my faith was challenged, but also my faith showed up and it strengthened me. And I found that when I went through some minor challenges early on, the fact that my faith strengthened me made it possible for me to handle the bigger challenges. And when I met those, I was able to handle the bigger challenges. So even the smallest moments when your faith shows up and when your faith strengthens you can help prepare you for the bigger challenges down the road. When was a time in your life you felt closest to God? I felt close to God on a number of occasions. Sometimes when things are really bad and my faith is really uh, challenged, I felt God stepping in and ministering to me in training and in war as an army ranger. I felt really, really close to God on those very dangerous moments. But I felt close to God when I'm walking through the mountains. I felt close to God when I watched my children being born. There's many times where I just felt the presence of God around me. 
Um, and it's just not one circumstance of life. It's been many times in my life. When did you know you were called to be a chaplain? There was a very specific moment in combat where I felt this overwhelming sense God wanted me to be in ministry. I loved being an army ranger. I loved being a, a warrior, but this was so powerful. It was so obvious that I couldn't deny it. And it took me a long time to get the training and the education and the experience I needed to become an army chaplain. But that call to ministry, for a lack of a better phrase, was so real to me that uh, I, I, it, was a, it was no question that I, I was going to do something different with the rest of my life. Do you have some words of encouragement for young Christians? I'd probably say to a young Christian, listen, the walk with Jesus gets deeper over time. It grows stronger over time, but it's also challenged over time. So there's never going to be a moment where it's all easy and it's smooth sailing from here on out. I think even some of the greatest heroes of the Bible still were challenged again and again and again by life, by circumstances, by temptations, by dangers. And that's going to happen to you if you walk with Jesus for two years or if you walk with Jesus for 82 years. Your faith will continue to grow, but it will also continue to be challenged. Thanks for watching. Jesus loves you.